See, this is what he said from New Jersey in 2008. This would have been last year. He's, when he showed me that impeachment thing against our president, he said, I'm not ready for that. So he took me to the scripture in Luke, and he said, uh, because the owner came in and said, let's pull it up. And, uh, and the parable says, no, we're going to dig around it. We're going to fertilize it. Then if it doesn't start producing, we'll then pull it up. Now, beginning in April, we need to see great change in this nation. Now, because God said that in New Jersey, there's something from this gathering, an anointing that when you decree a thing, as Bobby said from uh, the book of Job, it says he begins to establish it and cause light to come on your path. That says there's some assignment here beginning in April that will create a new move of God in this land and save a nation. I don't think this is about our president. I think this is about a nation coming alive again coming alive and producing fruit again. See, here's several things we have to do. We have to know our field and sphere to establish a new rule. We have to mobilize armies. You're doing that. You have to strategically know where the spirit has come down because you have the ability to pull. That's where a past altar has been and you're able to refire that altar but cause the fire from the altar to go out to new altars. You've got to see the high places. I, I'm not sure. I think you've done lots of research and spiritual mapping. But the Lord says now the sound must come in that causes those high places to begin to fall. And then you have to say, Lord, we've got to see some cleansing and purifying in this land. I, we've got to see it in our own life. But here comes the real key, new glory altars. Say new glory altars. So here's what the, the year is really about. It's about a divine return. It's about us moving from where we've been forward into what we never fully experienced. And right now, that if we don't have this divine return in this land, from the colonies that were chosen to war for the freedom of the land, we'll never see the move of God that will change the course of the next two generations. And it becomes critical from April through September. It becomes critical. You become critical. Now, turn with me to the book of Ezra. This is what I want to leave with you. So I said, Lord, there's so many patterns about divine return, and I couldn't hear him until I walked in here, and the Lord said, this is a people that will lead from captivity a nation out of captivity. I'm going to say it again. This will be a people that will lead from their captivity a nation out of captivity. So I went to Ezra. In other words, the colonies, you have gotten into a place where you're coming alive again. I remember when I first started coming up here in 1972, there was nothing. Just 
a church here or a church there. This is a movement in the original 13 colonies. Let's thank God for the movement you're part of. And so he took me to Ezra because there comes a moment where God says, it's time for you to get out of the captivity you've been in. I know what has happened over the last 70 years. But we've now entered a new era called 80. And it's time for you to lead out and reveal a glory realm that has never been seen before. And so remember what happened was when the people started praying and Daniel started interceding, there became this chain of reaction events where he moved on a political leader, Cyrus, and all of a sudden it was an ungodly political leader that said, it is time for you to return. It is time for you to move forward. It is time for you to get back to a new glory. That's where we are in this nation. We have had to come through political structures to where finally one is saying, you have got to move back. You have got to move in. Jerusalem has got to become the capital of Israel again. It was decreed in 1948, but the warfare was so strong they never established it. Now it's being established. And all hell is breaking out. Nations are having to realign. And so what the Lord does is say, it is time for you to worship, to return to a place of worship. And when they did that, it became the seventh month where they pressed in. Now, what I want to say to you is this. I believe you are paving a way for a nation to change through September. God sent me to tell you that. You are that important this era. You are that important in the future of this nation. And so with that, they had to press through into a new place of worship. They had to come into a place of discipline to move forward. And then you get to chapter 8 and something happens. See, the altar had to be restored back to the place where it had left from and gone into captivity. God is doing a new thing to give us an awareness of this presence and worship that he's calling us to. And in it, he gets these people moving. He gets them going. And all of a sudden, it takes every one of these tribes to be in movement. One of the things that I want to assign to you tonight is to say, go back and call forth the multiplication of the remnant in your territory. Call it forth. Call it forth. Find it. Call it forth. It needs to multiply. It needs to grow. And Because you see, all of a sudden, God starts looking at the servants and the sons and they get to a place and this is where I want us to end. They get to a place of crossing over and God stops them. See, I think we're at that same place at the river Ahava. And he stops them and he says, wait a minute. Let's look at who you are. Let's look at each one of you. I have sent for you from Georgia, I've sent for you from the Carolinas. I've sent from you here, just like he did when he brought the freedom into this land. He's done it again. And all of a sudden, he said, you should come in here and really establish 
the house of God in a new way. Again, we're in a new era. We don't even know what the house looks like yet. Nor did they. And so he gets them moving, and then here's my scripture. Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river of Ahava, 21, verse 8, chapter 8, verse 21, that they might humble themselves before our God. I don't know when we've all knelt before like we did. To seek him the right way for us. Now hear me. To seek him the right way for us and our little ones and all of our possessions. I'm appointing a place tonight at this crossing over time for you to stop for a moment. Let me choose the right sacrifice from you and fast from you. And because there's a right way that you go from tonight and bring a whole nation into the future. Now, I know it's here in in New England. I know it's here in the 13 original colonies. It's here. Because God coded it in this territory when he started forming the nation. For I was ashamed to request of the king an escort of soldiers. We're not going to run to the government and say, protect us. We're going to say, we've been assigned to go before a nation. Because the enemy is on the road. Now that's what I want to leave with you. There's an, let me reverse it. The enemy is on the road. Therefore, there's two generations at stake. Your provision and your incomes are at stake. The house of God is the only hope of bringing change. And in the midst of it, you're going to seek me for three days. And this is what I see doing it in the next, through September, I see state after state having three days of worship some way where they're worshiping, and they're just worshiping. And they're calling forth the worshipers, and they're calling forth the people, and they're saying, remnant, come and worship. Come and worship because the enemy is on the road. But if we come and worship, we'll see God's new plan for our nation. But then God said this, And now, for a little while, grace has been shown from the Lord our God to leave us a remnant to escape. That's you. Stand up. That's you. And yet, for a little while, a short window, I've chosen a people... I've chosen a remnant. I've chosen the original route, the original route, the original place to bring a little enlightenment back to this land. And if they will worship from place to place to place, I will turn my face back on this nation and reveal the enemy's plan. Let's give a shout.